Hello and welcome to the first ever Empress Grail production log, I guess. This will be kind of like a behind the scenes thing of the production of the comic. So I'll tell you what's going on and how we're traveling with it all. So, hi, my name's Aaron. I'm an author from Australia. I'm currently in the middle of the COVID um, lockdown. We are in Victoria. So we are in the heart of the pandemic in um, Australia, which is very worrying, but in this time we create. So what I've been working on is a comic called Emperor's Grail. I can show you a little bit of the art that we've got done here. So check that out, a couple of the characters we have. We've been working on getting the script all finalized for chapter one. And once we have that all finalized, which should take maybe another, maybe another week or so, then we can go into actually sketching and stuff like that. We've just got a few more characters we need to get finished off. And then we can start the actual um, production of the pages. Hopefully that's really exciting for you guys. And um, yeah, hopefully I can have something cool for you guys to check out very soon. Just a warning, this video will contain spoilers for some of the things in my series. Nothing that will really break your immersion, I guess, if you if you want to read the comics eventually. Nothing that will really ruin the comic for you. It's more so you can see how ideas were formulated and stuff like that. So yeah, without giving too much away, I will get into it and we can start talking about the world, the, the world of Empress Grail. The comic is called Empress Grail. It is going to be, I'm, I'm thinking I'm aiming at around 150 to 180 pages maybe even a few more, depending on how much we, we, we really need in the first one when we finish writing it. So at the moment, I've written all of chapter one. Um, chapter one, the progression of events that happens, I think is is really cool. There was a little bit of changing of, of a few things around that I've been working with my artist to figure out, but overall, it should be a pretty good read for you guys. The, the main thing you need to know is first chapter of the comic. It's going to kind of be an introduction to the world, introduction to the Holy Grail, the Emperor King, and the Zodiac Knights, like the legendary knights. So that will be like the introduction to them as like a single page kind of thing. And then it will go into the story of this boy named Rosen and we'll be following the story of Rosen after that. Um, it's just, um, I needed the page as like a setup page to kind of give people an idea of what the, the direction of the, the comic would be. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things going on in, in this world that I've created. There's things called Solnex, which we come up with that are basically like created beings. They're like so uh, artificial beings that have been created kind of thing. Like, say, it, there might be, like, a an object that someone, if they have the power, they can turn it into a soul nex. And a soul nex is, like, a, a living being. Someone with the power of the Holy Grail may be able to do that. I won't give away any spoilers for that. But, um, yeah, soul nex is basically a created being. So something that's being created. If you think of it like a synth from... Mass, is it Mass Effect? I don't know, from um, Fallout, the synths? Something like that, but not really a machine. More like an actual a soul that's being created rather than a machine that's being created. So that was kind of the idea with the, the soul next. Um, there's also a, a drug I'm implementing into the world, which is um, called Grave Dust. And basically it, what it does is, is um, in the story, it... it it works as like a narcotic, uh, not a narcotic, a uh, um, uh, sedative. So basically, it'll it'll knock you out. But when used on a Solnex, it can have different effects. There's a little guy in the story who we haven't shown any art for yet. Um, I'll show you him here. His name is Geary. He is a Solnex, which is a created being, and um, he will come into the story at some stage. But most of the time, he just appears as if he's treasure, and then he will eventually look like. Uh, eventually be walking and talking and, 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 and going around with, with our heroes. So, yeah, the Solnex, all you really need to understand about that is that they're created beings. And, yeah, that's pretty much all you really needed to know about them. There's something called the Necrophage, which is basically a 
disease that's going around and um, corrupting animals. It's turning animals from normal animals to stuff like... Do you know that boar that they have on Princess Mononoke that's like really mutated and weird looking and stuff? Stuff like that. Just really weird mutated kind of creatures that are appearing and they believe it's due to this um, necrophage which is like this kind of like corruptive disease that's going around in the out like outside of the city around uh, bastion city which is the main city so uh, there's a little bit of world a little bit of um characters and stuff um our heroes that we followed for the story is rosen kami and leo they're our, our three main main heroes and we'll follow them for most of the story so the first book will be will be about them following their adventures trials and errors i guess so yeah that's this week's been pretty productive i've finished the draft of um chapter one and done a little bit of refinement and now i've started chapter two so chapter two should be pretty interesting um once i finish writing that which should be around next week sometime i'll do another video um, production diary and let you guys know or let everyone know let myself know whoever's watching this that um there's still more to um, hopefully this is a good way to keep um, the project running tight and um, yeah hopefully we can um, create something cool for everyone to read so yeah that's just the production vlog hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon